Hello, everybody, and welcome to game six. I'm sorry, game five of season five of the Wave King of the Hill tournament. Today we have uh, Shadow Man going up against I True O God. Looking to I True O God is here, looking playing as Kevin Turtle, looking to extend his streak. Uh, won every game so far this season, uh, most of them quite handily. So we'll see if Shadow Man can break the streak. Shadow Man has actually been playing King of the Hill for a while. I'm not sure how active he's been in Dota, so we'll see how he. How he chooses to take a stand at this. He chooses to ban uh, Cenarius' Invoker at the start. Uh, True takes out the Undying, a very popular hero in the current meta. Bristleback and Queen of Pain also taken out Shadow Man. The meta dictates that he takes Gyrocopter here. We'll see if he chooses to go along with that. He does. He does. So Queen of Pain, an Undying, and Gyrocopter taking are not available. Spirit Breaker is picked up by True. He really likes these ganking lineups. I've seen him run a lot of, you know, Roaming Bounty Hunter, Spirit Breaker. Next pick for the Dire here. Um, I'm curious why he chose to ban out Bristleback after having no problems dealing with him. That's true. Last game. Good point. Vengeful Spirit takes out the, uh, I'm sorry, he's picked up by True, and Shadow Demon picked up by Gyrocopter. It'll be interesting to see, it's picked up, by, picked up by Gyrocopter, picked up by Shadow Man. It'll be interesting to see what he chooses to pair this with. I don't think Gyrocopter could pick up Shadow Demon. He's too small. Tiny could. Uh, maybe after he grew a bit. He toss level one, man. Drow banned out by, uh, Shadow Man, of course, a strong counter to Gyrocopter. Can kite him pretty well against a relatively short range hero. Last Rack taken out by True, of course, a, a, a traditional support combo with the Shadow Demon, so that's not particularly surprising. And very strong in the current meta. Rubik that's taken out by Radiant. Is the only one with the glowy blue people. Uh, that is that is true. Guess you know, gotta gotta lay down your claim. You have, to, you have to pay attention to the aesthetics of your team. It's true. So Shadow Demon has a skull face. Um, it's true, he does. I don't know how we feel about his skull face. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to talk about his stat just because I was doing it? I just want you to love me. Okay. Um, do, do we have... Uh, is there is there a natural Meepo player on... Yes, uh, Logic. Nut Scrubs? Joel. Okay. Are we calling them nut scrubs and erect? I'm, I'm not going. No, I'm. Dire? I'm. Okay. I, just for the record, for anyone not familiar with the format of these tournaments, um, uh, the, the teams don't matter. Zero. These are just yeah. team names that they picked, but the, the, each each team is drafted from the player lobby at the beginning of each game. They just make up names. Well, their names have said some person on that team is for is is on a in client team of that name. Okay. But okay. They are not those teams, um, and especially with names those dumb. I'm just I'm just no. Yeah. Um. Tro Warlord. Tro Warlord. A little bit of a throwback pick. A little bit of a throwback pick. He's not a bad hero. Mm -hmm. Now you know it is it, good synergy with Spirit Breaker. Get those bashes flowing. Pretty strong so, against Marana. Can you? Is is it you know convenient to throw a sacred arrow at someone who's been uh, disrupted? Yes, it is like a whole thing. Okay. Is so, that, that's the combo? So it's, it counts if you hit them while they're in nope. their glowy ball. Nope. Oh. You gotta so have, you have to the skills. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, good luck, Marana. That, but it is it is a very potent combo if you can pull it off effectively. Because I spend all of my Dota time avoiding skill shots. I do not play anyone who skill shots. This is, then this is probably not the right place for you. Yep. Jakiro, you play some Jakiro, I feel like. Not skillfully with the ice pack. <laughs> That's not what I'm there for. You do play Jakiro. Just, uh, just getting ags and put macro fires everywhere. <laughs> this is probably the support duo for the Radiant, the Shadow Demon Marana. Not allowed to ask Libby what she thinks Radiant should pick next. Um, well, 
I don't expect to see another invis hero because that would be redundant and everyone will be dusting and sentry warding everywhere uh, in true. theory. Very, very important point. As so, someone who likes to play Ricky, and then after I pick yeah. Ricky, people are like, oh, I'll pick a Marana for some reason. I'm like, this yep. is not... No, no. This is so bad. not expecting a Ricky or a Clinx or a Bounty Hunter. Centaur Runner will probably be their offlaner here. Pretty... Because they hate me. Sorry? Because they hate me, obviously. Why do they hate you? can't say that. Centaur War Runner. Centaur War Runner. And now you're saying it wrong on purpose. That's, that's how I say it normally anyway. <laughs> so let's just embrace that. There's a difference between not being able to say it correctly and not being able to resist the urge to say it sillily. <laughs> that's not the same. Centaur War Runner. There you go. I'm a professional you voice actor. You are literally actor. a professional voice actor. You got this. Silencer banned out for the Dyer. I'm not... I mean, Silencer's your hero. Does that break the Moonlight Shadow? No. Also, if break is a thing now, so... No. The answer oh, is no. okay. End. Wait, so he can silence while invisible? Uh... No, it Doing anything will temporarily... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you'll fade back. Okay, so... But it, but it does... Just okay. like any other ability, I mean, sure. Well, like, it's, I, I can't keep track of what breaks invisibility and what doesn't. Well, they all Sorry, work differently. All invisibility is not the same. Yeah. Oh, God. Yep. Come on, Dota. Yep. And it's a tiny... Maybe he will pick up the Shadow Demon. Uh, yeah, see. you're right. I... I don't know how they're going to lane this. I'm just sad that there's a Storm Spirit in the game. Yeah. I'm Although... Decided. With that said, they have a pretty good lineup against Storm Spirit. Uh -huh. Stantar War Runner, Tiny, both have those nice AoE stuns, quick casts. Um, Shadow Demon can disrupt them to help set them up. So, that's good. The, the natural Orchid Builders? Marana is a natural Orchid Builder. Okay. okay. I, think, I think support Marana should be, but... this is For the record, there's not any ill will necessarily towards true. I just really hate Storm Spirit. Yeah. I have decided that... Uh, Anytime someone bans Storm Spirit when I'm casting, I'm just gonna sing the O to Joy. The whole thing, or? Yeah, the whole goddamn thing. Okay. Good for you. Some people speak German. Some people speak German. All right. And are cool as fuck. Would you like to introduce one of our teams? Uh, sure. Which which one? You 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 pick. The one that doesn't have Santa <laughs> Um. So uh uh e erect. Maybe. Uh, we have nope. Kevin Turtle, a.k.a. True God, uh, on the Storm Spirit. Uh, and David is crying. Ray playing the Venge, who. She's got is the anime hair. On the bottom half of the map right now, but I'm guessing is gonna be tri laning and leaving mm -hmm. Spirit Breaker to sell it off lane. Uh, Spirit Breaker, by the way, is the only exception, which partially because of my dyslexia and partially because of the font, I thought was. Uh, the only escape tie, which <laughs> I think I want to be my name now. That's a good one. Victor on the lion, uh, and Veil of Elysium, who is actually somebody else on the troll, Scenario. and D Ward. So there was a D Ward, in case anyone was curious. The battle begins. Stupendous. And it is one and one on those haste We'll quickly introduce the radio before we get into the cast. We have. Those um, are not haste runes, but okay. Sorry, bounty runes. Double, double Hastrin. Double Hastrin. Um, Shadow Man is going to be playing the Marana. Uh, in the solo off lane, we have Kazuku. In the safe lane, we have Cone Wolf, aka Easy D on the Gyrocopter. Joel the Asshole is going to be playing Tiny Mid, which is the Storm Spirit. I'm really interested to see how that's going to go down. And then we're going to have Red as the second support here in this tri lane on the Shadow Demon. And of course, Spirit Breaker blocked, so they're not in a position where they can gank him. So they really need to pull before they go for a kill. This is something that I really feel like people need to understand. If the wave is in front of like this line, you cannot uh, effectively I see you draw that. You didn't? Oh, okay, there we go. Sorry. Yep. If it's not if it's in front of this line, then you cannot really gank the offlaner. Really the offlaner needs to be below that line for you to gank him. So if it's not there, then you're going to need to pull before you can gank. So you and the others, all the supports standing around next to the wave. And of course, Shadow Man is actually doing this. This is not a criticism about Shadow Man. 
He's stacked. He's doing a great job. This is going to work perfectly. But if or if you have an ungodly long stun, like I mean, maybe. Game. But even then, th at level one, you're not going to kill him. Go uh -huh. pull the lane, and then we'll look to gank the off laner. So great job on Shadow Man to actually do that very thing. Now the lane's going to pull back. They're going to try to keep it busy while they can, but it's going to pull into the tower. So, uh, stacking mechanics question. Okay. When you've got, when you've done Hold your on. double Hold on, we do stack. have Kazuku being oh. gone on at the top here. Tries to throw out a right click, has his passive going, and is going to be able to survive that harass from the supports. Mm -hmm. He's low, but Troll's also low in the top lane. Joel's going to grab this bounty rune. I'm sorry, ask your question. Yeah, so uh, stacking mechanics. So, once you've done your stack and pull, like we have in Radiant right now, mm -hmm. uh, and you've got three and one... So, uh, one and a third stacks. Hold on, an arrow actually might land? Oh, no. Too, uh, too, too aggressive. Really, Shadow Demon really needed to wait for Marana to come into the lane there disrupt him. Not sure why he was went so early. We are probably going to see Joel falling here in the mid lane. A gank from Victor on the Lion is enough to finish him off. Although, Vengeful Spirit... Vengeful didn't die. Oh, she did die. Okay, but not. it was killed by creeps. So I think a, a overall a good trade for the Dire, but Venge did, still did die. So it, close a little too. Marana is going to be pulling through here. And she's answering my question, so don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, not going to be pulling through. Doesn't need to. Oh, there's still, there's still some stack creeps. Now I guess to farm. Okay. This lane will hopefully meet at a more advantageous position. The Spear Breaker is blocking. Gyro's going to look at his block as well. I think it's going to meet like right there. Oh, a little farther up. It's going to be tough to gank Spear Breaker, but they can do it. They, you know, they, they, they have the heroes, to, I think, to kill him at this position. Rana has arrow available. I'm not really sure why Red is hiding in the trees and throwing out poison stacks, which are just going to push the lane. He really should be coming from this side. There's and they're going to throw the arrow before Shadow Demon is there, but Spearbreaker stays outside the edge. I mean, this is not how you... And they're going to disrupt him now? It's a strategy. A strategy of... I do not think they understand how to run the support duo. Cool down manipulation? Cool down know. manipulation? Yeah, you, you wait for the disruption, what? and yeah. then arrow. That is that is literally the idea here. Yep. Not... Not sure why they're doing it this way. Cone Wolf. But maybe they'll kill him anyway. Trying to kill him. It's, I don't think that stack of poison. But, oh, Roshan! If Roshan had hit him, he would have died. Uh, yep. Oh, but Tiny says, I'll finish that off. I will take a kill, please. Well, that actually worked out. This is something I'm glad Cone Wolf is leveling the missile. Like, the other spells are great, but missile is good mm -hmm. in the early levels. Especially to zone out an offlaner, like a Spirit Breaker. You can just spam it on somebody. Now, Kazuku is level 3. Spirit Breaker is also level 3. I mean, he, he, doesn't, he has his boots. Spirit Breaker has his boots. It's a pretty easy an offlane. Um, let's pull up the last hits chart. I mean, Tiny, again, is really struggling mid versus Storm Spirit. This is not a very good matchup for Tiny. This is a more even game, though. I will say that. I, I, you know, yeah. who knows how it's going to end out. But no I, massive. I think Shadow Man made a very good decision in the player draft to spit up, split up True and Joel, like we were talking about who earlier. Who are now fighting each other. Haha. <laughs> this, I think, this is paying off for him. Even if he doesn't win, I, I definitely we can see that it's going better for him. But Storm Spirit does just kill his tiny. He might die to the tower here. No, who am I kidding? Spirit Breaker's Radiant hiding in the trees here. Survive. Not sure if Red is going to be able to find him. Ooh, I think Kazuku is going to get gone on. Yep. Just too much damage. Magic Missile! Everyone thinks about it as a reliable stun, but it is really a nuke as well. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it does not scale that well in stun damage. Uh -huh. It stands decent, I mean, stun, stun duration. It scales decently well in damage, but I mean, it's only a hundred damage. It's not that much at this uh, as a nuke. Uh huh. But it's basically a, a right click. In, in the first, 
yeah, in the first uh, ten minutes, it's more than right click. It's like two right clicks, maybe. If you can get it to level two. Yeah. I mean, I still think it's better to be almost always better to max your wave of terror. Maybe your your aura. Uh huh. Depends on who you're landing with of regarding course. the aura. Of course. Lions now bottom. Spirit Breaker is uh, very much caught out. I think Red walked right past him. Oh, and now sees it. He's gonna turn around. Yeah, I, it it really seems like. Hold on one second. I'm getting a message. Oh, well, for some reason I am not audible in game. Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> People just been hearing me. Yep. Well, only in the in game, not not on Twitch. Oh, okay. That would be entertaining. Let's see if I can fix this. All right. Sorry about that for those watching in the in-game client. It wasn't just me talking to myself like a crazy person. <laughs> Looking at the last hit, it's pretty even, except that Tiny really is was struggling in this mid lane against the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit has Soul Ring and Power Treads along with an Old Talisman and Bottle. Don't know yet what his next item is going to be. I wish there was an analyst co-caster who could I could ask what what they thought Storm Spirit's first item was going to be, but I don't. So I'm going to guess first item Vanguard on the Storm Spirit. I think Vanguard is really strong. Um, uh, I, think he's, I think he's just deliberately trying to bother you, and he's going to go for a Bloodstone. Mm. <laughs> that would be the most logical guess. Yeah. Literally worst item in game. On the worst hero, and David No, not the worst hero. I did not say the Storm Spirit is bad. Okay. He wants you to rage quit the, uh... He's trying. The casting. He's trying. Spirit Breaker is coming back here on bottom. They're gonna throw the arrow. I mean, Shadow Man is being very aggressive with these arrows. He's throwing them without setups. I mean, you're gonna get lucky sometimes, but skilled players are gonna see them coming and they're gonna dodge. Like, that was a good a good effort on that in that case, particular case to throw it over the cliff where Spirit Breaker not be able to see it coming, but... It's probably not going to work. Kazuku taking a lot of damage to this troll warlord up top. Everyone's messing with Roshan, though. Mainly just Spirit Breaker. Leave the guy alone. Well, he did kill that shopkeeper. E everybody kills a shopkeeper. Or something. No. But nope. Folks nope. need to chillax. No. Nope. Occasionally there is murder. Occasionally there is murder. <laughs> Can't we all just chillax here? And uh, I'm really enjoying Okay, now Marana is in spirit. the Roshan pit. That's a strat. They're gonna charge on Cone Wolf here. Unless Roshan decides to bash her. We might. <laughs> Shadow nope, Man. Okay. Maybe he's gonna die. Call down's gonna land on three. Both hits. Is Ray gonna be able to escape here? They need one more right click. Ray's gonna fall. Spirit Breaker is low. Marana would have been great if she had contributed to that fight, but she was kind of busy oh, being bashed. Oh, no. Oh, so close. That was acceptable. That was acceptable. But again, had she been in any type of a reasonable position, I don't know. Tiny has another bottle room. He's got 1,400 gold saved up here. So he could be going for Axe still, and just waiting for a good time to buy the point booster. Maybe going for Blink first. Probably not Drums. Oh, it's a Shadow Blade! Goes to the Shadow Amulet. I like uh, Silver Edge on Tiny. I At least it's, uh -huh. I think it's it's definitely worth trying. Uh huh. And Tiny's gonna grab a Haste Rune. Who do you think that's to mess with the, in this um, game? I mean, the Spirit Breaker and the Troll both have. And the. and the I mean, everyone here has a, a pretty important passive other than the Lion. Uh -huh. So you, you can mess up um, Overload on Spirit. on Storm Spirit, which is really. This hero is really all about overload. You can you can take away the aura on Venge on Vengeful Spirit. You can take away the bash, and I'm not sure. I guess I'm assuming the passive of empowering haste, although I'm not totally sure how that works on Spirit Breaker. If, if you go invisible, will that end a charge? No. Okay. No, it will not. 
uh, and then Fervor on the Troll Warlord. So I like this, except that as you just sort of hit on, Spirit Breaker is going to be able to find him no matter what. So it's not really meant as an escape. But if you're using Shadow Blade as an escape, then you're a noob. So, you know. And Joel just quickly mops up right here on the Vigil Spirit. They see Storm Spirit, I think, rotating down here towards the bottom lane, so they should really start being defensive. They don't have a, a good ways to easily lock down the Storm Spirit. It's got another TP coming in. It's tiny. Okay, here's the arrow. Might actually work. Oh my god, they did it! They did yeah. it! It's a miracle! Does it deserve a note to joy? Uh, if you want, I mean, it's your decision. I think it can wait. Okay. The moment's over. Yeah, it's 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 up it's up to you. I don't, it was not part of the scheduled old to joy activities, but that doesn't okay. mean we can't yeah. do it. Spirit Breaker is pushing in this bottom lane here. Shadow Demon and Tiny are rotating Random in. Random arrow, arrow of hope. Arrow of hope. Disintegrates. That's a good Dota team name right there. I like arrow that. Arrow of hope. I like that a lot. I want that one. It's a very positive spin on. I don't know what I'm doing with this arrow. Tiny is just like, fuck you guys. I'm gonna Tiny go in and kill everybody. Care. Hashtag is tiny. Hashtag, he, Hashtag is, is lion. he is also dead. So that did not work out that great. I see your tiny and I raise you. That was down. some bold ass tiny play right there. It was. I'm I not, like I'm not really sure what that was all about from Joel. It was fun and exciting. <laughs> yep, he was like, I'll, I will just walk under the tower. And attack everyone, and then everyone will TP in and kill me. So not not Joel's best work, I gotta say. Creating space, David. You know. Creating space for our, uh, literally at, three other of his team members to die. Look look at Centaur. Centaur managed to maybe pick up maybe three, three or four last hits during that. Space. Yeah. Not so sure about that one. Your green dude. That's really not, not too bad, though, because, I mean, Radiant's behind, but they were gaining good momentum. They were in a decent position. They're, they're probably going to outscale. I like the Silver Edge strategy. That, that was a big loss. Pretty unnecessarily. Very unnecessary. Yep. Marana maybe has got it out. I don't know. And they're going to take Roche off yeah. that. With the Troll Warlord being Troll Warlord. Give it to Storm Spirit, who is pretty much indisputably the best Aegis carrier in the game. Marana kind of wanted to throw an arrow out, but didn't have the backup. Storm Spirit just decides to... Oh... Oh, they disrupted the Storm Spirit! I mean, the, the Spirit Breaker. Don't disrupt the person... Don't disrupt Spirit Breaker. Disrupt the person he's going on. They're trying to kill Storm... I mean, uh, they are trying to kill Storm Spirit here. He doesn't have a lot, of, a lot of mana. Doesn't have enough to get over the ledge, but has bottle charges. Should be fine here. Here comes Tiny. He's got a big three-man avalanche potential. Hits all three, but not enough to for a kill. Kazuku wants to kill the Storm Spirit so bad. I know, we all want to kill Storm Spirit. But Troll does manage to take out the Marana in the back lines. They have the Stunny Missile going on Storm Spirit. He should die here, but he's going to have an Aegis available. And lots of friends. Kazuku gets a, does not get the stun off on him in time. Spirit Breaker is still charging in. Hits the Golem. Like Freak killed his mom, Dave. So they take out the Aegis on Storm Spirit, which is a pretty big deal. They do lose the Shadow Demon and all that. How behind is Radiant, do you think? Also nothing. Uh, How bad is it for them? Well, Tiny doing poorly in that lane was not good. No, it was not good, was it? T Tiny is, is your carriest carry. Gyrocopter is a pretty carry here, carry. He will not be able to carry. Yeah, but. I mean, I think the bigger problem is yeah. A, Marana gets charged out by that Spirit Breaker charge, but she should be fine. B, the bigger problem is that Storm Spirit is already almost to his Bloodstone. Yeah. That's the oh, problem. It's, con it's confirmed Bloodstone. Confirmed Bloodstone. Confirmed Bloodstone. I cry Maybe it's just a every casual time. Soul Ring and Point Booster. Those are. Those Maybe are good it's items, an Octarine Core. Know? It's an Octarine Core and a Soul Ring, yeah. 
It's not, though. It's definitely a plus Because one. he has so much... Let's see. He doesn't have no magic damage. Well, he has a lot of magic damage, but he doesn't really have any cooldowns other than yeah. the the static remnant. I don't know. I just hate him so much. Don't I? Ooh. Trixie moves from Kazaku took mm -hmm. off his tranquil boots to take the creeps and then plops them right back on. That's pretty that's pretty standard stuff. Oh. I am not standard. It's okay. I still love you. Mind games with Storm Spirit Illusion. Yeah, I think Joel's Did in a lot of that? trouble here. He came out of Shadow Blade in the middle of the entire enemy team. Minus troll. That's Who's unfortunate. Just in jungle? Cone Wolf, I think, wants to just get out of here. Does not have a TP scroll. But I, they know he's there. Ray should just throw out that Scream of Terror. I think he will. Does not see this, the gyrocopter. Is there going to be an Arrow of Hope? <laughs> oh, there, there will be an Arrow of Hope. Okay. Centaur... Has a bracer, maybe. Maybe he's going drums, but probably just a casual breaker. Bracer, thirteen hundred gold. So probably saving for that blink dagger. Should be agonims after that. Troll is going Saint Yasha. Already has it completed. His courier is coming to him. Dyer is pushing his bottom lane. They could try to defend if they want to, but they look to be more likely to defend top. But this means Cone Wolf is just like very trapped. Okay, his TP's coming up to in two seconds. Hopefully he, he uses it before they find him. I th I'm if I were them, I would have assumed that he's already left. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No, I, oh, they're I going on Kazaku. Does not have the mana for his ultimate. There's an arrow of hope. It hits Victor. Gyrocopter comes out from behind. Hey, bitches. I'm pretty sure that's how Gyrocaptor talks. Spirit Breaker and Vengeful Spirit trying to get away. Arrow of Hope fired, but does not land. And now Gyrocaptor oh, is sand sandwiched and taken out. Piranha Ray is in trouble. Nope. Oh. Hi, Ray. Tiny takes him out quickly. Has the full Shadow Blade up, but just brown boots. Really got wrecked in lane. Troll is still, of course, just been farming away. Full Saint and Yasha up, along with the Morbid Mask, Aquila, and Phase Boots. And I think the Venge pinging out this ward yep. to, uh... But, but the teammates just walk away. Joel, what is this? Jaws Joel playing? I don't okay. get it. Yeah, I assume this is inside. Maybe. Troll begins to just walk away. It's suspicious. Like, it's almost like there's a tiny chasing me. I'm not so sure about this. That's called game sense, gentlemen. Spirit Breaker charging on Cone Wolf. May look to continue this with Storm Spirit behind him. Nope. Chooses to back off. Storm Spirit does have a double damage rune, along with those 11 Bloodstone Chargers. Tiny has his power treads finished. I, I think he's he's almost certainly looking to go for Silver Edge here. So this was definitely a very like nighttime focused patch. Uh -huh. From a thematic point of view, you know what I mean? All this moon yeah. stuff. Oh. And like the silver edge. I don't know. There was definitely like a scene a theme yeah. to it. I think let's see, what's the description of Silver Edge? Is it I think it's a, a lunar thing. Yeah, there's like a lunar uh, once Used to slay an unjust king, only to have the kingdom erupt in civil war in the aftermath. No, that's not it. No? Okay. All right. Um, uh, oh, moon shard. I was thinking of moon shard. Yeah, moon shard. I thought there was a lunar... I mean, there is solar crest, which is distinctly dead. I don't know. Uh-huh. Celestial bodies. Celestial bodies. Yeah. Maybe the silver edge is supposed to be the star. What star? A, a star. Oh, I see what you're saying. Sun, moon, yeah, and maybe. Fight here in the bottom lane. Centaur is trying to get away. Mana does throw out her ultimate, but it's still going to fall. 
There's no detection available for the die. Oh no, there yeah. is. Ray needs to place the sentry ward, but places it too late. You you really want to place sentry wards as early as possible, of course, because even if you like they aren't going to be in that sentry ward position for as long as possible, you can at least see which direction they're headed, and then you can you know make a decision from there. So once you see someone going, and go you in, have a stun, and you have a stun, yes. So once you see someone going invisible, really it makes a big difference if you put down your detection as soon as possible. Okay, mom. I'm trying to help you be a better dog player. Spirit Breaker now has a Shadow Blade of his own. This troll's gonna get pushed off this bottom lane by the missile. And the tiny. That helped too. Oh, we're gonna see three heroes group up here. Chasing this missile. Troll cannot deal. But he yes, he can. Him. He can deal. Conewolf is gonna get charged. He will probably die. Oh, but he gets denied by the neutrals. That's real skill. Right there. That is real skill. Of course, Cone pinged out that observer ward correctly, but it will disappear by the time they get a chance to deward it. Spirit Raker charged up top just to move the lane back. I mean, Dyer has control of the map. They can take, wait, they're waiting for the next Roshan. I'm going to put on a Storm Spirit and then try to push a Tier 2. I mean, this is definitely still Dyer in the, in the, uh, in the driver's seat, but, uh, but Radiant is holding their own this game. I mean, they're, they're still yeah. in this game. Are you, uh, 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 Moran Alt can change things up a bit. Absolutely, absolutely. I really and think Tiny should tiny. go on this, this, this troll. Oh, he waited too long. Call down comes out. They're gonna try to kill Ray before he has a chance to TP out. Is it gonna be enough? Yes, it is. That's a two for one. I mean, that, they really should have done that with a Marana ult. TP initiated more quickly. It was Storm down. Oh, well said. Storm Spirit is big and fucking Storm Spirit. I hate this shit. This, this, this right here. This, this is what I don't like. I don't like this. It's not. It's not good. There needs to be a cooldown on that or something. Or, I don't. Maybe maybe charges like snipers. But then it would. I mean, that's like this is like the fundamental theory of Storm Spirit. And it's not like Storm Spirit's OP. It's just not not fun to play against. Yeah. And you're like, well, you can only move three thousand units every thirty seconds or something. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now, and I yeah. don't like it, and it's not fun. Yeah. Kasuku's gonna get charged by the Spirit Breaker. Lion's trying to follow up. He does have a stun if he chooses to throw it, but nope. Oh, and he got the Tranquil Boots. He did it. It happened. The plays. Guess we're gonna buy some more boots then. Guess we're gonna buy some more boots then. Don't do that where people can see you. Yeah. That's... It works so well next to the creeps. Don't not where people can see. Don't do it there. That is that is what happens. Also, there's like a storm spirit. Yeah. He can do that too. Don't do it. Zip zap, as they say. Zip zap, indeed. Marana should be building an orchid, but it looks like she's going to be going for a medallion. It should be orchid. Storm spirit just dives in on the shadow team, and it's like, what are you what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Because this game is stupid and I hate your hero. Tiny is split pushing up top. Does have that shadow blade. Won't protect him from Spirit Breaker, but he's still all the way across the map. But Roche is happening. Roche is happening. Spirit Breaker guarding the way. So much nicer when you have minus armor. It does help, doesn't it? And shows up and is like, wow, we're actually falling real fast now. Yeah. Spirit Breaker charging on Kazuku, but has his blink now. And new Tranquil Boots. Oops. Tiny is in a pretty dangerous position. Has Shadow Blade up cooldown. It's just going to keep you away. Good decision from Tiny. Yeah, you know what? 
Let's actually not do this. Yeah. They see Storm Spirit with that sentry ward right next to their observer. Kazaku is in some trouble here. Gonna get charged by Spirit Breaker. Arrow of Hope misses. Needs a disruption, but it doesn't come out. Have I made it a thing now? Arrow of Hope? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I really like it. I told you it was a good when one. You, when you don't have any sort of setup. I, I, I liked it. I, I was, that, was, that was a good effort. Arrow does manage to scout out Eventual Spirit there. Storm Spirit dives in, because he's Storm Spirit. Hopefully they can maybe kill him, but no, it's not gonna happen. There's, there's no way. Oh! They get the Aegis out, but he will come back with full health and full mana. There's no stun available for Tiny, so he just zips away. I have vision on this ward, but cannot get there. Oh, so sad. Arrow flies out. Might actually. Oh, it was. It was an arrow. Of hope. of hope. How many connected arrows have we had this game? One. One. I feel like one. Yeah. Well, we had one that was that was off setup. I think there was one other that landed on lion that was an okay. arrow of hope. So two. Okay. Top tower is under attack. Storm spirit. Storm spirit is building the dagon. It's fortified. happening. Tiny does not have quite enough burst damage to kill this lion here. Ooh, but great two man yeah. stun. Very well played. And that was fast. A big wipe. Could not even check what was happening. Arrow of hope. Arrow of hope. Oh, could could have killed uh Bill yeah. even if he was a little far away. Yeah. yeah. He's about to get I don't know if we should call it an arrow of hope if they're all grouped up right in front of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think an arrow of hope is necessarily any arrow that does not have a definitive setup. I think it's just an arrow that is at a target, a moving target, specifically a single moving target. An arrow which assumes that they won't dodge. Oh, and the GG is called. It's another win for true. I think that's going to be the last game of the night because True said he could only stick around for one or two. But it was a pleasure. Hmm? More of a pleasure than last time? Yeah, this was a decent game. Like, this was a, a solid, watchable game. I think that's going to be the end of well, King of the Hill. Thanks the so much for watching, everybody. Um, it ended for this evening, was it? Bye!